Hey, what's up everyone? Bubble Kings here and welcome back to some more Paladin. Today, we're going to be playing Bucky. He got a bunch of changes recently. Uh, new ammo count, so he now has four shots. He also got a bit of a change to these legendaries, like this deals more damage, has a bigger knockback. This now increases your max health, and I think this got reduced a bit of damage on him. Because uh, the duration of the snare got increased. We're going to try bulk up here, because we're going to go with a recovery build. Because recovery did get changed slightly. So now recovery, you channel it for like a second and it still heals you. Heals you for a thousand over that second now. So it's basically a big burst heal instead of an overtime heal. Uh, so we get a bunch of cooldown reduction from this. And yeah, uh, we'll see how we go. So we got cauterized here so we can actually kill people off. Because they have a ying who's going to constantly be healing them. I'm going to just go straight around to the back line. Oh shit. Try and pick up some people. Absorb some damage. Let's jump down while we reload here real quick. Let's wait for this fire a bit. Oh, okay. No! Oh no, we jumped too short. We're gonna get killed off, I think. Uh oh. Oh. Big kill. Can we jump away? We can. Okay, we need to heal up here. Oh, Genos was giving us some nice heals from down um, up here. Right, so we're still alive, thanks to him. Watch out for this overcharge effect. Heal up a bit. And we should be able to clean him up. Yeah, so now his um, spread is a lot less. So you can see they were actually able to hit him from that range and deal decent damage. So that is a huge help. Because if, if we knock him back or anything like that, we can so actually damage him. Where is the enemy? Oh, here she is. Almost shot. There we go. Uh, let's get pop recovery just so we can get into it straight away without having to wait. I'm going to try and damage him while he's still a bit away from us. Just to keep him away so he can't get too close. Headshot in there. That blew him up quick. Okay. I guess I want to really low on the back here. I want to clean him if I can. Oh, I'm going to use recovery because I got the card that gives me ammo back when I use recovery. So we can get our ammo back and kill him off. I'm just trying to get some poke shots off. You can see we're actually dealing pretty decent damage from this range now so it's not too bad like we got 700 damage down on that shot which is pretty good uh, let's do this oh one more shot okay oh okay that's close that was a lot of damage uh let's go activate our old cause maybe use her one pick up her pick up this guy if we can oh so if you didn't notice there um the ult's slightly different. Instead of getting extra damage now, you get attack speed and unlimited ammo. And you don't get the cooldown reduction on your abilities anymore, so. You still do a ton of damage, it's just, it's, uh, it's better, I believe, because uh, even if you miss one shot, you don't lose a huge chunk of DPS because you're shooting quicker instead of just dealing um, extra damage with one shot. So it's a bit better if you can't aim as well. But obviously you don't have that surprise factor of dealing like 1.2k in one shot or whatever it was. And he's absorbing all of our shots. Trying to get some shots on him here. Oh, he's so low. I'm just going to come around the side here and blow him. Oh, no, he's not there. Oh, recovery. Oh, no. Damn, we went too deep there trying to get him. Got a bit greedy. Okay, uh, we'll get more points in quarter eyes. They're all, well most of them are direct damage, so we'll get this, and then we'll get some more life rip. I didn't want to invest too heavily into life rip, because we already have so much healing in our kit, with the bulk up legendary especially. Uh, I think our guy got off a really nice ult there, he gets killed three people, so. That's going to do a lot of work. They're moving in here. I'm going to try and get behind them to actually get some shots on the wind. Watch out for his ult. I'm going to jump away, so we can't get ulted. And we're going to have to watch out. We're just so surrounded here. Oh, it's like bugged out and he's like sliding on the floor. Yeah. He seems to always bug out after his ult, which is a nice. Because it changes like where his hitbox is. It is actually like on the floor, which is really weird. So you, it's kind of hard to actually get like headshots on them. But let's see if we can make it back there. I don't think we can. I don't know. Maeve's holding for a while, actually. Can we sneak onto it? Oh, should we look blown up quickly there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, what should we get? We could get Kronos. Kronos is pretty good on us. Especially since we don't have the cooldown reduction on our leap. The cooldown reduction is going to be helpful there. Yeah, we only got our recovery. So what's our cooldown recovery now? It should be like 5 seconds, yeah. Should be 5 seconds. And then our leap is a bit on a shorter cooldown. Or like 9. Yeah. You have quite long cooldown, so Kronos does do a good job of reducing it quite significantly. Okay. Death's hands. Okay. <laughs> Would've been nice if you got caught her eyes. Uh, we got our ult up, which is good. They all went around the left side last time, so I'm gonna go around this way. Just so I can get to their back lane without running into all of them. Just try and kill her off. She's gone away somewhere. I don't know where she went. Oh. Did she get behind us? Oh, can I see her on our screen? No, she went inside the building. She must have threw an illusion down in there. Looks like Leon's AFK or something like that. I'm surprised they didn't get Charlotte in there. We got blown up by um, Talos pretty quick there. There's a lot of people. I'm trying to get around to the back so I can get some damage down without being poked down too heavily. Oh. I'm gonna have to back off. We have no one there, and they just have people all over it. Just trying to get him. I don't know where he went. He's gone invisible. I'm just gonna reload and wait for him to pop out, I think. Oh, man. Let's just back out there. Uh. I'm trying to get close to her, but she's constantly just spraying us, which is annoying. Careful. Can we? We can probably get her. Which would be helpful to our team. Oh. Okay, let's heal up here. Kill her off, finally. Watch out for a result. I'm gonna come around this side of the building. Pick him up. He's gonna come back here. Oh, we couldn't blow him off in one shot. Gonna regen our ammo, then we can go on the ying. Okay. Ooh, ta I'm tired here. Okay. Sort of stabilized a bit here. Shaolin's back somewhere here. Pick him up. Some shots on this guy. I don't know if we'll be able to pick him up. He's quite low, but. Just do that while he's charging his defensive thing, because we can't shoot through it. Oh man, there's people all over us. Oh, get the Ying if we can. Oh, damn, slightly too slow on that last shot there. Oh, nope. Where does he go? Where'd he go? I don't know where he went exactly. We've got Tara still chasing us here. One more shot. Oh, come on. Where is she? There we go. I'm trying to get out of there so we don't die. Don't know where he went. Is he up here? Is he down there? I think he might be down there still. Ooh. You, she gonna pop up back here? No. Well, she might pop up back here again and we could get her. Gonna heal up. She almost burst us down there. Which is a bit scary. Oh, she healed up. Oh crap. Oh, I was gonna try and burst to like at the end of the round there, but she topped up somehow. That was close. Maybe we should try third person mode. I haven't really tried it out too much. Can't jump for some reason. Okay, now we can jump. Uh. Let's get more damage reduction. As I said before, we have a ton of self-healing already. So if they start getting some cauterizers, which they aren't, which is nice. They only got one cauterize here. But if they got more, our healing would be obviously less effective. So by going Haven, we sort of balance ourselves out a bit. We can't just get screwed over by cauterize. Ooh. 
Whoa. We could probably blow this guy up. He always goes super far onto the point by himself. And with quite oh shit. Uh oh. Bit low. Oh man. I was kinda low there, so we weren't able to get Oh <sighs> He looked like he was on full life, so I was like, oh he's alive just sitting on the point. And then no, he was he's doing he was doing his old animation. Man. So buggy though. When he comes back from that old, he's just laying on the floor. Kill up. Watch out here. Are they, they going to come down? I'm going to hug the ward. Yes, they do. You should be able to get this guy. Oh, man. You feel so slow in third person. Feels like your character's just, like, crawling. Oh, okay. Guess I can't go through there in third person. I'm just gonna sit on the point. Okay, now we actually have someone on there so I can pull off. Oh man. Oh, we got the net on him. He's gone invisible with his ult, he's dead. Shots down on here. We're actually a bit low, so I'm gonna pull back for a bit. Reload. Um. Oh man, taking a bit of damage. She's still coming after us. If we keep cutting around like this, at least we can sustain through a lot of the damage. Not too bad. Oh. Use her own ult. And I think her own's gonna be a bit better than ours because of all of the life skill. Oh, we got her though. We got her. Should be able to get Terminus now. He's sort of by himself. He's sort of getting zoned out by the people up here. Because someone's about to pop up back here any second now. So we might be able to jump on him. Gonna use Q to get the ammo back. Pick him up. Oh man, our guy just swang through like three of them. Yeah, you definitely feel a lot slower in this mode. Feels like you move super slow. Uh, it does make it a bit easier to see if, what's going on though. They're all gonna keep jumping around here? Okay. That works out for us. Uh, is he gonna start swinging at us? No, we got him surrounded, so we should easily have him here. Let's just actually properly reload now, because we were working with like one shot all those seconds. Uh, we're getting a bit of cauterized. You can see we're not healing as much. It's a bit annoying. I'm gonna just reload. See if we can get over to these people. I want to get the DPS first, to be honest. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get the tank down so our team can actually capture the point. But the DPS is starting to respawn here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, on the point a bit. Oh my god. I don't want to get in there because it's like so much action. Oh my god. He's all went off again, Dana. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. If we ran off it anyway, we would have lost the round, so. Not too much we could have done there. We've got our final point in cauterize here, though, so. That's going to help us a bit. They're starting to get some cauterizers, which isn't nice. Uh, let's see. So they don't have the big guys old anymore, which is good. That's one thing to look forward to. But, I don't know. Point spawning in 15 seconds. I still think we can't take him down. With the legendary, he's already taking so little damage. Especially because um, he probably has... Oh, he doesn't have it. I thought he had the percentage reduction card. But he doesn't. Oh, he has a lot of self-healing, though. 
Yeah, it's gonna take too long to take him down, so we're gonna have to work uh, work on their back line. Oh man. At least here we have a choice of when we want to fight uh, Tyra. That's one good thing. Being on the high ground. Oh, I want to get that Ying, but I'm so low. I didn't want to activate Q there because we might need it for the actual fight, yeah. Um, can we pick him up? Man, we do like no damage to him. Holy crap. He's like pre-rework damage. <laughs> it feels like 180 when you shoot him right in the back. Um, we almost can get another point in Haven, which is probably good. Oh, Ying's almost dead. Come on, get the Ying. There we go, she's down. Okay. I'm gonna try and get the Talus here. Oh, he came back over the other side. He's gonna jump back in a second, so if we get ready. Oh, shit. No, I'm so dead. I have my jump down, so I can get away from her. At least we got the Talus, but our team's gonna get pushed at the point, it looks like. Oh, no. Oh, she missed the ult. They're both missing their ults. Oh no. Oh my god, I missed the jump through the doorway. Oh, I'm... It's so weird, I always think I'll fit for it, but in third person I'm not used to jumping him through. Oh. Yeah, we used our jump there so we couldn't get away from when the Tyra popped her out. annoying. The guy's so tanky. Jeez. Just unkillable. But the new buck feels really, really good. I actually really liked it. We're able to get down some good damage. Got some decent kills. I think he's actually in a really good position now. Like, yeah, we got the most damage on our team. And we have two good damage dealers here. We got a Maeve and a Leon, so... That's not too bad. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The third person mode feels a bit weird. I haven't used it before. But I guess I'll get used to it. It's, yeah, I kept jumping into the doorway. Because I thought it looked like I'll fit under it. But, yeah, obviously I didn't. Um, very unfortunate. Yeah. The new guy seems pretty OP though. I really want to get a chance to play him. Uh, so I'll probably have a go with that. I think, I don't know if this, wait, wait, where's our one? I don't know if this is needed, but it's pretty good. You get 1.6k life and an extra 300. I don't know if that actually kills you that 300 though. I didn't actually check. Um, but 1.6k life in one second is a huge amount of healing. And if they don't have too many cauterizers, it could be really good. But I think getting the 600 damage down for free with your... Uh, heroic leap because it's 600 damage now could be super super powerful because that's like over a quarter of some character's life total so especially since you only have four shots now getting that down the 600 damage for free could actually be the difference between you getting the kill before you have to reload and after so that could be a huge deal and I don't know how good the next shot's going to be it Allows you to get a lot more shots in now with increased duration. Because now you can get up to 3.2 seconds with the card. Which is a long time to slow someone. And with 30% extra damage with the type of damage you can deal now. It actually could be quite insane. Like you gotta think, this is without any sort of damage legendary. So with a damage legendary, you actually could pull off some sick numbers. But yeah. Um, gotta get used to third person mode a bit. And then we might have a better chance. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.